Welcome to the Joy of Editing with Dave Kelly. On today's episode, we're stylizing a portrait using Luminar 4. We're going to use like three different filters. This is going to be a good one. I think you're going to enjoy it. We're starting out with this image right here, and it's going to end up looking like this. Uh, it's going to be fun, so stay tuned and let's get started. The first thing I notice off the bat is these leaves in the foreground, these out of focus leaves are a little bit too bright. So I want to reduce those in, in brightness a little bit. So to do that, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to add a new layer. And the reason I'm doing that is because I'm going to double mask this thing. And you'll see in a second why I'm doing this. So let's add a new adjustment layer. Let's go to essentials. We're going to be in the light tool right here. I'm going to be working with the curves here. The first step is to take, make sure we're in the uh, luminance part of the curve here, because we have luminance, then we have the red channel, green and blue channel. But we're going to start with the uh, luminance channel here. I'm going to come over to the right side of the curve here and pull down on the highlights or the light side of the curve here. And I'm watching those leaves there. And I'm going to try to get them looking where I think they should be about right. And I'm thinking maybe somewhere right around in here. Now the whole image is going dark here in the, in the lights, okay? And so what I'm going to do is go to Edit Mask and go to Luminosity Mask. And that's going to add a Lights Luminosity Mask, so it's only going to be targeting the highlights. Now here's what I mean by Double Mask it. I'm going to come back up here to Layer, because I made a new layer. And so now I can go to Edit Mask and get a Brush Tool. And so now I can just paint that uh, darkening on these leaves with a brush, okay? So I want to make sure I'm on paint in and my softness is at 100%, my opacity is at 100%, and that's a decent size for the brush. You can use your left and right bracket key if your brush is too large. So I'm just going to paint over these leaves here. All right, and it's darkening them up. And that luminosity mask is only targeting the highlighted areas. Okay, something like that. All right, now we're not done there because we got to come back to the essentials here. And now these, these are darker, but they've lost some of their color. So what I want to do is go to the green channel here, and I want to pull up on the greens and add a little bit of green in there. And curves is great for this. My last video was all about curves. And so if you watch that, you will have a good understanding of why I'm doing it. So I'm going to add some green into there and get that looking just right. Now let's click this uh, eyeball here. So here's the before and here's the after. See how that kind of like keeps your eye from going too, too heavily into those leaves and it's keeping you more in the model's face. So we, this image is all about the model here, not about these leaves, okay? So that's the first step. Let's come up to layers here and let's go ahead and click on these three dots right here and rename layer. Let's call this one uh, Darken Leaves. Darken FG Foreground Leaves. Whoops. If I could type, I'd be in good shape. Okay, so Darken Foreground Leaves. Now we're going to come up and let's add another layer and that's going to be a new adjustment layer. I added that layer so I can darken this area right under her neck here, this area all in here and right here, because I think it's a little too light and I want our eyes to go to the model's face here, okay? So we're gonna come back to essentials. We're still working in the light uh, tool here. We're still working with the uh, curves adjustment layer. Let's go back to luminosity. Let's take the right-hand side of this curve and drag down so we'll pull all the light tones down. Now I'm only watching that area on her neck as I pull this down. And I want to get it, I just want to ease that light level off there a little bit, maybe somewhere right around in there. And I might even pull down on the center of this curve a little bit here. Now don't worry about the rest of the image. And I'm also going to come here to Edit Mask and go to Luminosity Mask. And that's going to put a Lights Luminosity Mask and only tar target the light areas there. Okay, so somewhere right around in there. I might just pull this down a little bit more and pull this down a little bit more. Somewhere around there, we can come back and readjust. Also, I want to work with the color in here because I've lost a little color. So what I'm going to do is uh, go to the blue channel and pull down on the blue channel, which will add yellow to that. See that, isn't that cool right there? And I'm going to go to the red channel and pull up a little bit. So I'm going to add a little bit of red to the yellow 
which is going to give me more of an orange or fleshier tone right there. Let's leave it at that for now. Now, don't worry about the rest of her face because what we're going to do is come back up to the layers and we're going to go to Edit Mask and we're going to uh, get a brush. And now we want to make sure we're on Paint In. I'm going to have my starting out with my opacity at 100% and my softness at 100%. So we have a nice soft brush and that size is good. And I'm just going to paint this adjustment in right around here, right up to here. Okay, and then right in this area, right in here. And then this area right in here, I don't want to hit it quite as hard, so I'm going to take the opacity and take it down, you know, somewhere around 30% or so, and just paint that right here. Okay, and I think that looks pretty good. Now we can come back to the Essentials tab here, and we could take a look and see if we're dark enough here. And I, I actually think we are. I think we're looking good. Um, so let's come back up to the layers and now let's take this adjustments amount and let's slide it to the left. Take that adjustment off and slide it to the right and take a look at those colors in there and see if they, they're matching. And I just want to match that till that looks about right to my eye and I'm thinking maybe right around in there. Now let's click this uh, checkbox so we can see the before and the after. See now our eyes are going right to the model here. Let's go ahead and rename this layer. Click right here and we'll just rename the layer. Let's call this Darken, let's just say Darken Neck. I think that's good. Now there's a layer mask in here. So to make the next adjustment, we definitely need a new layer. So let's click the plus and add a new adjustment layer. Now we're gonna work on some creative editing here. Okay, we're gonna have a little bit of fun now as if we haven't been having fun already. Uh, so we're going to do a little bit of color grading on here. So a little creative color and we're going to use curves for that. All right, so let's come to the Essentials tab and we're going to be in the curve section here. Now here's our luminosity curve right here when we're clicked on here. But what I want to do is come to the red channel. Let's add a little bit of red tone into this. Something like that. Okay, and then let's come to... Um, Let's come to blues and let's put a couple anchor points here. One here, one here, maybe one here. I just want to add a little bit of blue to the shadows. Or I'm going the wrong way. I got to go up. Okay, so I'm coming up here because I don't want the blues getting into the highlights. But I just want to add a little bit of blue into the shadow. Just looking for something kind of creative here. Now let's go back to red. And maybe pull this red back a little bit. I don't want to go too crazy here. Something like that. Now, let's come to the layers here and let's click on the checkbox so we can see here's the before and here's the after. So I'm kind of liking that right there. Now, let's get a little creative here and go to the create, not the creative tab, but actually to the portrait tab. Because inside the portrait tab, we have the Orton effect. And the Orton effect is great for portraits, and that's why it's in here. So let's open up the Orton effect tool. And there's two different types. There's type 1 and type 2. Uh, let's try type 1. And the Orton effect is going to add a nice soft glow and some added contrast. Let's open up advanced settings here. And we can add more softness, or we can adjust the brightness and contrast and saturation. But on this image, I'm going to try type 2, because I think I'm going to like type 2 better. There's type 2. It's not quite as, as strong, and I like it better. I like type 1 better on like landscape images and that, but type 2 is really nice for portraits. So let's increase that a little bit. But look at that nice, soft look it's given my image. I really love that. Now we can play with the softness here and see if we want to add more softness or less. And it was pretty good. And if you double-click softness, you'll get it back to the default position. I might just add a little bit of softness. Now we can adjust the brightness if we felt we needed more brightness, and I don't think we do. Now here's the contrast. It's up a little bit at 15. We can pull it back a little bit if we want or give it more. And I think 15 was looking pretty good. So see, right around there looks good. Now we can play with our saturation. We can pour our saturation off or give it more. And I don't want to go too crazy here, but do I want to give it a little bit more? I might just ease it off a little bit. Just take it down a little bit. I'm looking for that nice stylized look. With that little bit of color grading we added with the curves, I think that's looking really nice. While we're still on this layer, I would like to bring this area on, this, on these leaves down a little bit. 
And I would also like to darken around the entire image a little bit. So a vignette is great for that. And I really love Luminar's fours, Luminar 4's vignette. So we're in Essentials. Let's go back to Essentials. Actually click on it to go to it. Let's come down here to Vignette. And let's click on Choose Subject. So I'm going to come here and click right around here. Let's open up the Advanced Settings. Let's pull the amount back. And let's take the feather the whole way back. This is a nice tip so you can actually see where your vignette is. So now we can adjust the size. Because I want to make sure I get these leaves encompassed in the darkened area. So maybe something like around there. And I think the 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 uh, subject setting is chosen properly. And now let's take the feathering and pull that feathering up. Decent amount, maybe right around in there. And this is darkened off nicely. And let's play with our uh, amount here a little bit more. Do we want to darken it more? And... I'm thinking maybe there. Let's pull the feathering up a little bit more. Okay. And do we want to open up the inner light a little bit? Let's see this because that will lighten up the center of the vignette. Let's try that. I might, you know, just a very slight amount open up that inner light there. And that's looking pretty nice so far. Now let's go ahead and come back to layers and let's rename our layers here. So let's rename this... Uh, Orton and vignette. Let's go ahead and click the split screen here and see where we've come from. So here's the original and we've come to this. That's striking. I really think that looks nice with that color grading on there. Let's click off the split screen. So let's click on the eyeball here. So here's the before. And here's the after. Now our eyes are definitely going to our model. And that little bit of color grading there looks really nice. Now let me show you a little trick here. If you come here to the layers and click the plus and click create a new stamp layer. If you felt your effect was a little bit too strong, you can create a stamp layer. And watch, you can shut off these other layers underneath it like Wharton and Vignette, Darken Neck, and Darken Foreground Leaves. And then you can take this op image opacity slider and slide this back and just ease off in the entire adjustment a little bit. So I can take it the whole way off, and there's the original. Or we can just bring it up and say, and you know, we might say, well, I like it better at 90%. In my case, I actually like it the whole way up. But I just wanted to show that to you. You could do that if you felt your adjustment was a little bit too strong. Just make a stamp layer and reduce its uh, opacity a little bit. Well, today we use Luminar 4 to stylize a portrait. Uh, we use curves and we used um, the Orton effect. Just a couple different tools and the vignette filter as well. I hope you enjoyed this uh, tutorial today. I really enjoyed uh, bringing it to you. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and share it with your friends. If you're not yet a subscriber to my channel, please subscribe and click that bell notification icon. And then every time I upload a new tutorial, you'll be notified about it. Hey, also leave comments and questions in the comment section below. I'd really like to hear from you. And I answer all of my comments. I try my best. And uh, thank you so much for joining me today in the joy of editing with Dave Kelly. And I'll see each and every one right here next time. But until then, happy editing.